everybody out there in YouTube land, Southland Video here, bringing you our trip to the Knoxville Zoo with the Canon R50. Now, if you noticed the video playing right now, is a video I did about two or three months ago, and it was my review on the Canon R50. I'd purchased the Canon R50 probably about five to six months ago, and it's done really good. I mean, I've, I've got a few little problems with it, but I, I talked about them on the video. But I, I decided it was time to take it on a true test, so we loaded it up and took it to the zoo with us. And I have to say it didn't disappoint. It has a cool feature that it will take the photos and compile them into somewhat of a kind of a, a rough, raw video. And I thought that video was cool enough to just pretty much put it on here and let you take a look at it. It does a great job and I just wanted to share it with you, so take a look. Give me a smile, look at me. Look at me. Now, a couple things was going on this day. Number one, we took the trip to the zoo in celebration of Macy's birthday. She turned five. Happy birthday, Mace. And number two, uh, they had the dinosaur exhibit at the zoo. Now what that is, is they have a bunch of different animatronic dinosaurs throughout the park. And it's really cool for uh, kids. And I mean, I have to say some of the dinosaurs were cool for me. But it was kind of like just a, a cool day for Macy's birthday. And we really enjoyed it. And the camera captured a lot of cool photos. Now you'll notice some photos, like particular the bear photo that just... Uh, come up it was a little blurry now one issue with the camera which is all cameras phone or these cameras any type of camera has a problem with is if you're looking through glass or you're looking through a fence the camera doesn't necessarily know what object you're trying to take a picture of so it blurs one or the other so sometimes you might have to take and do manual focus to get the object on the other side but uh, most of the time, the R50 focused its way through and did it for us. We didn't have to put it on manual, not once. That's a good example right there. There's one of the dinosaurs. This one's set up where the kids can <laughs> crawl on the back and take a photo. I'll release a video on uh, more about the zoo later. I just thought this was a really cool video to kind of upload and let you guys take a look at. It gives you a good perspective on the camera. Goes kind of goes along with the review I did a while back. And that's one thing I like to do. I like to keep an, you know, an item for a while, and then six months to a year give another review because sometimes it takes a while to hate something or like something. So you really need to use it a while before you give your honest opinion on it. And, Right now, I've used the camera quite a bit, and I still love it. It does a great job, especially for a low-end camera. You know, it's considered to be a cheap camera, but it does everything I need it to do. The Knoxville Zoo is under some construction right now. They're making the zoo bigger. We've been going to the zoo for a long time and you know the zoo's always under some kind of construction it's always growing it's always getting bigger but they're trying they're doing a good job you gotta get closer well, here's some still shots i did of macy macy goofing off most of the time but i wanted to put them up here to show you some of the action shots that you can get with the R50 and here they go. The way it does the colors and saturations it's awesome. Well that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you later.